yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for this right here. I'm about to eat this. It's gonna be good. What's going on everybody? It's Kevo, I'm back. And I'm back with a bang because guess what we're checking out today? Today, we're checking out Burger King's Mac and Cheetos. Mac and Cheetos, not Mac and Cheese, Mac and Cheetos. Let me tell you why this is important. Well, first of all, when I first heard about this, I thought it was fake. I know I've seen it on like Facebook and Instagram and a bunch of places and I was like, Mac and Cheetos, come on now. And then I read that it was only like tested in California or whatever, but I found out it was coming out today, so I thought I might as well go ahead and try them out and let y'all know what I'm thinking about them so y'all can go pick them up. You can pick these up for $2.49 at Burger King. I think they come in a five piece. So basically the ingredients for these is pretty simple. It's just creamy mac and cheese. I guess it's like the stove top kind and then the uh, crispy Cheeto stuff. I guess it's like a Cheeto stuffed with the creamy mac and cheese. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. If you're worrying about the calories, it's gonna be 310 calories of cheesy goodness. Another thing I'm worried about is I am lactose intolerant, like I told y'all before, so this is about to be cheesy hell for me, but I'm doing it for y'all, man. First of all, Burger King, I wanna know why y'all decided to make this. Like, out of all things, you decided to make a Cheeto dish. Like, it's so random. Like, first of all, Cheetos aren't even fast food, it's a snack. And then mac and cheese, like, who get, does Burger King even have mac and cheese? Like, what the heck? Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this because I'm excited, man. Let's go ahead and... They got a little neat box they designed for it. Oh, oh my God. Y'all got to see this. What in the world? Crazy. Oh, man. Look at this. It feels like a... Uh, you know what it feels like? It feels like a um, mozzarella stick. That's what... I bet that's what this is kind of going to be. Like a mozzarella stick. It looks kind of... Um, it looks like a deep fried Cheeto. Yeah, man, these look like freaking mozzarella. I don't, you know, I'm ready. Let's go. Wait a minute. Hey, you know what, man? This is actually kind of good. When I first bit into it, I was thinking it tasted like a mozzarella stick, but honestly, like you start tasting like the mac and cheese on the inside. It looks weird on the inside though. It doesn't even look like it looks. Honestly, you taste the you taste the Cheeto part a little bit. You don't really taste it that much. This tastes more of like a. Uh, I, I bet this is a breaded mozzarella stick. Why am I saying breaded? Like mozzarella sticks aren't breaded, but the bread that's on mozzarella sticks that's deep fried, and then I feel like they just put the Cheeto like flavoring on top of it. It's pretty good though, like the mac and cheese, it, it tastes pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I was scared to put this in my body like five minutes ago, but then I was like, you know what, whatever. I can't stop eating it, hold on, let me, wait. Honestly, this don't even taste like creamy mac and cheese. It tastes more like um like baked mac and cheese like that you cook in the oven and set on a to stove top. Maybe because it's like fried and it has all this other breaded stuff going on. If I had these, I wouldn't share them. I would not share these right here. No, man, that's it. No, come on. That's it. All right, so that was pretty quick. Uh, I devoured, I destroyed these freaking Mac and Cheetos from Burger King. So first of all, at first glance, and when you first touch them and they feel like, uh, I don't know, I guess I was expecting more of a Cheeto type of feel, you know, the puffy long Cheetos, but it felt more of like a mozzarella stick. Like literally almost felt like a mozzarella stick. And it looked kind of gross, but you know what? It's just, I guess it's, it's because when you pick up a Cheeto, you expect that hollow feeling, but this one actually had like stuff on the inside. So it was like, felt like a mozzarella stick, like that was covered in Cheeto powder or whatever they put on Cheetos. When I bit into it, at first I got the whole mozzarella. Honestly, it didn't really, it didn't, it tastes more like, it tastes like mac and cheese. You can see the pasta and everything on the inside. I wasn't, I didn't know what to expect. That was kind of weird, but it was it actually, it tasted pretty good. And you would think it would be like too cheesy, but it wasn't. I don't know, You, I feel like you can barely taste the uh, Cheeto stuff on there. Yeah, like I said, you get five of them in a the box. I feel like that's enough for a snack. What made Burger King choose to sell mac and cheese? That's pretty random, but I get it now because it's kind of like a mozzarella stick. You know, Arby's has mozzarella sticks. I don't know what other place has mozzarella sticks because I don't really, oh yeah, Sonic. I feel like these could compete with Sonic and, well, no, that's a lie, I don't know. <laughs> I give it a 6.5 out of 10, because it was pretty good. It didn't blow my mind, like, the only thing I was disappointed about is, like, the Cheeto taste, I guess. It didn't really taste, taste like a Cheeto to me. It kind of looked like it, didn't feel like it, but it was pretty good, and, like, mac and cheese was there. That was great. Mac and Cheetos from Burger King. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you go try these. Um, they're only $2.49. You get five of them in the box. Uh, if you do try them, take a picture of them and uh, 
at me on Twitter, um, Kevo's World. Leave a comment down below on anything else y'all want me to try out, and I'll do it. It can be hot, it can be gross looking, it can be a absurd type of food. Just let me know, I'm gonna try it for you. See you guys on the next video. Deuce, deuce, we out.